What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Come on. I don't know. If, should I go to what you call it? No, I don't want. I don't feel like going there. What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. We are down here. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope everybody had a happy Mother's Day. Thank you to all the Mother's Day wishes for all the Mother's Day wishes. Shout out to all the mothers and the mothers, honey. Um, so we are down here to talk about um, Love and Marriage Huntsville, honey. Love and Hip Hop Huntsville, baby. I heard you was looking for me. <laughs> Leticia said. <laughs> she pulled that ponytail it was so funny because you saw her like kind of pumping herself up because it, it there was a point where she looked at her phone like well it's time hey, hey sir it's time for me to um say what i came here to say you could tell she practiced it but sometimes you got to practice shit when you about to be confrontational i ain't mad at people who practice being confrontational with people i should move over a little bit I'm going to claim two parking spaces, damn it. I was like, you saw her. She like looked at her phone and put her phone down. I said, oh, Letitia. Melody was trying to look like, girl, please. What Melody should have done was like chuckle. That would have been really funny. But Letitia was confrontational. That was funny to me. Okay, let's talk about it, y'all. Oh, I've had to let me put the car in park, honey, before we go <laughs> off roading, girl. <laughs> I was so energized this weekend watching all them damn videos of Stephanie Perry and then like where her like people she was interviewing and and like like following them, just like the whole frequency, girl. And the next thing you know, bitch, I'm gonna be like, "What's up, everybody? We down here. We gonna be in motherfucking Portugal, bitch." <laughs> you think I'm playing? Just relax. <laughs> Everybody's gonna relax, and we gonna do this. Cause so let's get to, let's get to the mess, honey. Okay, I'm trying to want to keep the heater on just a little longer until my until I turn the Ghost Rider. Okay, when y'all see the flames, tell me to turn it off. Okay, I gotta make sure. Ooh, let me turn this down. Who was that? Dawn Richards. Come on, honey. Dawn Richard. Um, okay, so overall the episode was good. I was laughing. I was hollering. You know, I'm amused by the shit. Honey, I'm amused. It's a it is a show for me. I was like, these people are really funny. Um, it was okay, so I don't know why I started my notes off. Because it says Destiny admitted she was talking shit. Now, this is what Melody said. So, you know, I had to get my magnifying glasses out and I had to do a little research. And I was like, did Melody, did Destiny admit that she was talking shit? I ain't never seen that. Have y'all seen that? And then I was trying to think, did she talk about it on the Ooh Ladies first panel? And I was like, did she talk about it? I don't remember her saying like she was talking. I, I said, I don't know what 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 Melody was talking about. Y'all tell me what Melody was talking about when she said Destiny admitted she was talking shit. Because I don't have any recollection of that. OK. Destiny and Kimmy, what was said? I don't know. Really? Who is Kimmy talking to? Kimmy is talking to somebody. Who is she talking to? I don't know who is in the scene right here. She says she apologized if you felt you were talking to an enemy. I thought we were in a good place. It was a surprise to me. Oh, she's talking to Destiny. She is talking to Destiny. Kimmy and Destiny. Because Kimmy said, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, what? I got to read my notes, girl. Um, She's saying she, she was meeting with Destiny saying that she needed to hear from the horse's mouth, basically. What? Based on. Because... When I tell you that Galentine's, baby, they could have called that the Galentine Massacre, okay? <laughs> they, they wore, I'm, I'm Melody, what do they call her fans? What do y'all call yourselves? Melometers? Oh my God. 
Who oh, that's just as bad as Tay Martians. Anyway, girl, y'all not gonna like this review because I know y'all didn't like it last night's episode or the night before. Baby, your girl was on the ropes. <laughs> childish that's inaccurate no <laughs> no how come it's childish every time that you start getting called out on some shit it's childish girl no it's not you petty you petty and you see how Letitia was so petty she came in with that team wife shirt on baby team wife somebody said that's Melody's line and she made that line I guess when she was like going against coleslaw honey oh did y'all see that coleslaw um she apologized you shouldn't have been messing with nobody's husband girl that's what she said on the thing shout out to was it impressive shout out to her because i was watching the video i was like oh my god that was last night when i watched that she kind of apologized and was like girl you need to grow up and i think um martel oh what was he saying what was he saying He's wishing everybody, all the women, Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. I'm trying to remember. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. He said something kind of to the fact trying to include fathers in Mother's Day. Um, the way that on Father's Day, people wish mothers, since there's like so many more, the hundreds of thousands of fatherless homes and women step into that role. Although I don't like to wish mothers happy Father's Day. I just don't. Um, Martinez was talking about. We got to say something to the fathers. He was saying something. And he included the fathers. And you could see the comments. They were like no. Like what are you saying? Like girl no. And it's so weird. And it's like. I don't know. I don't know. It's so weird. Anyway, so let's get back to Destiny and Kimmy real quick because we don't have a lot of time, honey. And I got to do Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's going to have to be later. Okay, anyway, so because that episode was, that episode was kind of boring. That episode, I see they're trying to push Drew on us. I'm not about to do that. Anyways, let's get back to Kimmy and Destiny. Um, She said you apologized. And she said, I didn't apologize for what she accused me for, I apologize for feeling as if I was talking about her to her enemy. I thought they were in a good place. Kimmy said it was a surprise to me. Everybody said it was a surprise. And it's some high school bullshit. What does um, Noella say? High school with wrinkles. You can't really say that about black women because you know, you know what to do. But Destiny said, not Destiny, Kimmy said, I thought we were past. It's like it's really draining being in the group with this kind of energy. And she didn't say energy. She just said it was draining. And then she said um, the self stuff, the me stuff needs to be put on the back burner. So I don't know if she was talking about Melody. That's what I meant to ask Twitter the other night. I was like, was she talking about Melody? Who was she talking about? Um, does she feel like Destiny is being selfish? Does she feel like, who's, who does she feel like it's me, it's me stuff, me stuff, self stuff? Anyways, Marvin and Melvin were sitting down and they were talking about how Martez wants to buy back into Skolt. And he was like, Tisha said no. And he basically said, Tisha bought Martel's shares and that made her majority. So then... Montrose says, <laughs> he goes, say, so when he comes back, who's going to sell their shares to him? <laughs> he was like, oh, I didn't think about that because I know Tisha ain't. What? You better sell him some of your shares. I know that's right. He was like, I didn't even think about that. Why? Because you are not really going to let him in anyway. He says, I'm going to let him do a small pod project. And then he says there's an issue with trying to figure out who the leader is, right? That's typically what the problem is. Um, he doesn't want to, um, he said, instead of owning his stuff, he'll drag you down or something like that. I don't know what that was about. But basically, I agree. I agree with Melvin when he said, if he gets his license, that's going to show me his commitment. If you get your license and then what he said about getting a license that when I tell you, I was like, that's a sorry ass nigga. I'm sorry. 
he is so sorry. Like, I was like, he doesn't want to go get some Melody, have the builder's license. You Now you go to Fred. Is that a name, Fred? Fred look, look like he got a little thick, huh? I was like, look at Fred, okay. But he even said to, to um, what's his name, Montrez? Girl, you need to go get your license. Or well, he doesn't think he needs his license. And then the way that he said that he don't think that him, he was like, the relationship that you had with Melody, is, this is a relationship too. I don't think that people, men in particular, understand that every everything is a relationship. Everything. And relationships don't last forever. The, the only thing that they tell you that a relationship lasts forever is a marriage but those don't even last forever relationships don't last forever right and if things happen he was like i could get mad at you right now and then he's sitting up there talking about i don't need one i don't need one if somebody else got one i don't like that that's real weird to me i was like ugh Ugh. that to me I don't know that's a, like a character thing for me I don't know why I'll just use somebody else instead of going to get my own when you can make yourself so much powerful by getting your own why do you want to be up underneath somebody and dependent on them for your builder's license I just don't I was like uh uh-uh. um so he said it was off the table because he's not he's not selling his shares and no damn well Tisha not selling her shares but they're just gonna work with him to see but if they can have a working relationship but and then he's like are you gonna tell him he was like oh yeah yeah i'm gonna gonna have a talk with him yeah you need to talk with him and say we're not letting you buy back in we can work together but we we, you can't have none none of this and then again because when martez got mad the last time he him and melody both that's the thing it's like i don't even though even though and she's doing it now, right? She's doing it now. Even though they were getting a divorce, they both operated in the same way. Like our house is burning down. You set down the lighter fluid and I'll throw the match. That's what they was doing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all. And and then the, the fact is they all know what everybody is doing. And it's all about who's going to say it, who's going to break that shit up. Because Melody, you got you got facts and you got this and you got that. Say it. Say it on camera. What What is this? This kind of like these breadcrumbs, this trail, this Scooby-Doo mystery girl. Say it. If y'all got shit on people, say it. If you know, and then like saying, oh, y'all, y'all gonna act like y'all haven't cheated before. That's what, um, when they showed that clip. And it's like, and I noticed that he didn't even acknowledge that he said that. But basically, so because you got caught for doing something, you want to pull everybody down with you. And to me, to me, I feel like, okay, there's no honor amongst thieves, but why would I go into business with you again after all of that? No. And then. For it to come back onto this season with Melody saying you're you're in denial and this and that were you weren't you in denial? Like for me, I feel like because it's so fresh, and that's what that's what makes me believe that uh, Melody does not like Tisha at all because of the way that Tisha was acting like. Remember, I guess. She was acting like she knew stuff on mail. She, they're doing the same things to each other. And neither, of course, you're not going to like it because you're exposing stuff about your marriage. And then when you expose that you are a woman who knows that her husband is cheating on her, everybody's going to be looking like, girl, what you about to do? What you going to do, girl? And some women don't want to make a decision. Some women want to stay. Some women are, they're not okay with the cheating, but... I don't want to, you know, get up and do all this stuff. Position yourself in the business the way T. I I said, come on, Tisha, you better have ma- the majority of the shares of this business. Why? I'm, I'm not. And then what she should say is like, if he is cheating, bitch, I'm not going nowhere. I got the, the family, the way this business is set up. This is my goddamn business. So he would have to make some adjustments. This is my business. This marriage is my business. <laughs> the the businesses we're acquiring this is my business 
So some women are just like, I'm not about to leave this, Beyonce. I'm not about to leave. This is my business. I'm not about to do this. I'm not about to leave. What are you talking about? I got the shit on lock, Tisha. So, but T, but the way that we move in our society, everybody's going to be looking at you like, okay, girl, your man is cheating on you. Then you got to deal with being called stupid because you staying with a man who's cheating on you. Like Melody was called stupid. But I feel like since it was so fresh for Melody, she should have a little grace for Tisha, but she doesn't have grace for Tisha because she doesn't like Tisha. Never have. Never have. Never have. So Melody goes to her psychotherapist, Dominique. What's keeping you rooted and grounded? She says she's meditating, girl. Are you creating boundaries? Do you know when you need to create boundaries? She says, yes, I'm working on that, but I seem to be around energy vampires. It's it's so funny how Melody says, I'm around energy vampires, but then when she was sitting at the table. She says she matches energy. <laughs> so, ma'am, um, we got some work to do. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, stop matching people's energy. You talking about you around too many energy vampires, but then sitting at the table saying, I'm just going to match e- energy. I'm just going to match energy. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to match energy. So then you become an energy vampire. Girl, what's the fuck? Man? I'm not going to do that. So just be mindful of how you say things because, you know, you're entering into a realm where you're trying to act like you're better than. And it's all like that's the part that bothers me about Melody is she acts like she's better than um, she's above the shit. Not when I not better than, but she acts like she's above it. Like I'm above this, and <laughs> she's not. And she's not. And it's okay to feel like I want to feel like I'm above this, and I want to do my best to not get down to that level. That's okay to me. I feel like that's okay. Like I don't want to get down to that level. I know where I can go, but I want to mature and I want to grow up. But not in this situation. This can't, it's not. I don't think that it's going to happen in this situation. So whatever. Galentine's. I'm, a, I'm invited to a Galentine's Day. And we're going to see what's going to happen. Um, Mel says. And she says. No, her therapist says. Instead of staying away. Why don't you practice self-control? What we're going to give you. Who. What what we're going to give who 2022 male is different. I'm not dealing with immature people. People mistake my kindness for weakness. Like she was saying things and I was like, that doesn't, I don't, who is mistaking her kindness for weakness? That's what I wanted to understand. What we're, what we're going to give who, what we're going to give who, oh, that's what she was saying. She was like, be, you know, I guess who you are exchanging energy with since you're matching people's energy and you're not able to exist as your own vibration coming into the to the spot right you're still matching energy i think people need to get out of that you don't want to match energy you want to go where your energy is harmonizing with other people's energy you're not you're not getting so enmeshed with somebody else's emotions that you are matching their energy that's like a little bit of lack of a lack of control to her therapist's point have some control you don't have to match energy if it's not harmonizing with your vibration then you need to excuse yourself and go where it's sweet right where it sounds sweet, not where it's bitter. And these people you're matching energy with and you're saying they're energy vampires. So what's the point? Everybody's being sucked. Energy's being sucked. It's exhausting. And so many people have been saying that the show is exhausting. The show is exhausting. That's why I was like, I'm looking at it and I'm going to be laughing because girl, none of this stuff I would agree to. I would, you know, I wouldn't... Girl, none of it. Martel and Fred. He said he's building different properties. He's getting back in the game. He's over there looking at papers and plans. Like he know what he's looking at. Do you even know what you're looking at? That's what I was asking. Like, girl, what is he looking at? 
Do you even know? Girl, he says, I got the book right here. I got the book. It's marking everything. And it's like, you won't even take the book. That shit is crazy to me. That I, It was just like, I don't know. What do y'all think? Was that just me? Like when I see this man, man to man, I'm telling you, get your builder's license, bro. You'll be more valuable. I have the book right here, tabbed, highlighted, everything. And you're like, no, I'll just use it from someone else. Ah, that's weird to me. That's such a, that is odd. That's just really odd. Um, he says their relationship is not going to fall out. Ain't no reason for us to fall out. And it's like, you don't know that man might, might get tired of you. And to me, I feel like you're lucky he's doing business with you because a businessman, typically when you get caught cheating, that says something about your character. I'm not saying businessmen don't cheat. But if you get caught, that's why Evan on Real Housewives of New Jersey, his wife was so upset because in his business, you have to have a level of integrity. That means whatever we doing on here, you can't get caught doing it. So if you get caught cheating, you're sloppy in other areas of business. I'm sorry. Because you're not handling the home base, your home base, your corporate office. You over there doing whatever the fuck you can't handle business. And that's the reason your business crumbled. And that's why everybody's looking at you crazy because of the choices that you made. You didn't even really, you don't even have your builder's license. It's just like, you're just, that's how you know. You're just, I wouldn't do business. Um, Montrose and um, Martez, I'm not doing business with y'all. Mm -mm. I'm not doing business with with you. You don't have any character. And on top of that, you cheated on your wife. You acted fucking weird about it. Like she was doing something to you. Then you tried to throw your fucking um, co-pilots under the bus. Your character is weird. And that's why I don't understand when people be going up for Martez. I don't get it. Because just the character of the man is low to me. When you talk about high value men and low, that's a low value man. I, when I say high value, I'm talking about the values, your character, your character, your principles, the things that you stand for, not the way you look on the outside. None of that matters. Martel is a nice looking man, but his character is of low value in my, from my perspective, all of that stuff that he's doing and how he's moving. And then with a smirk on his face. That's why Melody don't want to be bothered with him because he's disrespectful. You're disrespectful, audacious, just like, how the fuck are you walking around with all this ego? And look at your character, bro. I wouldn't do business with Martez. I wouldn't do business with that man like that. His character is low. And you can see if anything goes down, he's throwing you under the bus. And he won't get his, it's not like, it's not like he's this dude that has his credentials in order and he's moving like this or he don't need to even depend on anybody. But you're like in a dependent state when you don't have your credentials together, but you're still moving in business and the business of your marriage and on down the business between your relationships with your friends. Look at how you act like, mm -mm, no, no, uh uh-uh. Uh, Kimmy and Tiffany and Tisha. Oh, okay. They were already at Galentine's. They were already at Galentine's. Tisha didn't look up from her phone. She shaded Melody. Melody. And then Melody was expecting something from her. You just referred to this woman. This is what I'm talking about. You refer to this woman as your enemy, but you're expecting her. You're expecting her to be cordial to you. I'm not looking up. I'm not looking up as immature as you think it is. I'm not looking up. You are mad at at this woman at destiny for talking to me. But when I, when you walk into the the space, you expect me to acknowledge you. Girl, no, (laughs) that's what I'm like, girl, Melody, I don't know who you thought, what you thought, but I don't know what Tisha's working on, but her confidence level from the beginning of this series to now it's different. It's way different. And I think Melody don't understand it. I don't, I don't think she understands. That's why she was like making those faces when she was like, I heard you was looking for me. 
Honey, here I am. Say what you got to say. I'm here right now. Well, who was talking? Who? Oh, is that is that everybody? Everybody is saying everything. She said, no, you, Mel, Melody, you. I said, oh, come on, bitch. I'm talking about you specifically. Specifically. I'm talking about you specifically. I'm, that's what I'm talking about. You, Melody, Mel. <laughs> Millie's like, well, everybody was saying some honey Petunia was on the ropes, girl. She was on the ropes. I said, Y'all better get your girl. Woo! Throw water on her face or something, wipe her face off. Crazy. They were trying to, you know, talk about like, you know, first have a little if you know their little game they were playing, right? You know, Kimmy did try to set the tone. She did it. She did. She said, Don't be calling people girl and stuff like that, because I guess um uh Melody doesn't like it. Um, what what are the misconceptions about you? Melody said people think she's selfish. So maybe that was who Kimmy was talking about. Tisha said people think she's naive. Um, and then Stormy said people think she's stuck up and unapproachable. Tiffany said people think she's messy. And her, she's awkward, period. That's it. It's like you really don't communicate well all like I don't know what's going on between her and Lewis and how they communicate in their relationship but you're a poor communicator every time you say something there's always some confusion even down to the slumber party when you said that 12 year old thing for me I didn't think it was as the way that Stormy reacted I was like I was confused and but I was confused as to why she even said it's like bringing up something from when you were 12 years old what like, that's like, girl, that doesn't even make sense. And then down here, you're talking about people think I'm messy and the misconception is that I'm messy or people something. And then Kimmy said, no, what you mean? So you're not a poor, you're a poor communicator, Tiffany. Sorry. That's what it looks like to me. Cause you seem, people don't seem to understand what you're saying a lot. So I would deduce that to you being a poor communicator. Um, Destiny. Destiny said, people think I'm aggressive. I don't think I'm aggressive. I mean, people from what I, it, it doesn't matter what you think. It's how people receive you, Destiny. She started talking real fast and shit. I'm not that aggressive. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, you not aggressive? I wonder what Destiny was like. Because she sound like, she when she started mimicking Stormy, what she say, bitch? I was like, oh, girl. y'all. That I, I don't think that's the right girl. I think that's why you got to be mindful who you choose as an enemy. Because somebody might stand up and hop up on your ass. Like, first of all, like Tisha did. <laughs> bitch with her little bubblegum pants on she came with her tennis shoes can we say bitch <laughs> bitch I'm gonna show you you call me your enemy I'm gonna make it worth your while that's what Tisha is giving I'm your enemy girl what you don't even make sense what you're saying and then you're talking about shit is childish but you mad at me for being friends with Tisha do you know how childish that is that's and then all of this could be avoided if Mel was like, I just don't want to fuck with you because you're Martell's friend. All of, all of this could be avoided instead of you saying, I, I, I was like, hey, hey, say it, stop it. Well, what was said, Melody? It doesn't matter. I don't care. But you're mad about it. You're mad at Destiny about it. So how is it that you don't care anymore? You know why? Because nothing was said. You didn't hear shit. You didn't hear shit. You making up shit to be mad at Destiny instead of getting some lips down there and saying you are my you are my ex-husband's friend i know you through him i don't want you talking to me about him i don't want you talking to him about me i need to remove you out of my out of my life that's it but everything else is childish the adult mature i don't even want to say adult the mature thing to do would have been what i just suggested a few seconds ago but no, you want to lie about some stuff, make shit up. Cause don't nobody know, still don't know what you overheard. Cause girl, are you that mad? It's more so that you were talking to the enemy, but when did she become your enemy? Okay. Cause I, at the reunion, when she was making faces, responding to your BS. So I can't respond to your BS. Yes, Tisha. Yes. Yes. I take a break girl. No, when she's done with you, she's done with you. Period. That's how Tisha felt. That's her experience. Should have had a different experience. I heard you was looking for me. 
<laughs> Here I am. Say what you need to say. The hood came out. That's what that's what um uh, Melody said. That wig is so cute on Melody. That's what she said. The hood came out, girl. She's like, I don't know. They called Kiki. Kiki said she's gonna tell the truth no matter what. They said you brought her name up. Now, this is when Kimmy got in, she confirmed what was said. Now, whether who brought it up, that doesn't matter. The fact of, it doesn't matter who brought, who, uh, well, we wasn't talking about you. You were, you were Melody trying to say, well, girl, what did she tell you? Well, girl, what did she tell you? Leading questions, girl. We're not new to this. That's another part is like you insult people's intelligence. And then you're like, no, that's childish. No, what you were doing was leading her so that it could seem like the stories were out before Melody said anything about anything. So you were there for that purpose. But you calling this woman an enemy and you have her blood relative at your house. She was on the ropes, baby. She didn't know what to do. She didn't know what to do. Tisha and Destiny, whoo! They was getting Melody, baby. They was getting her back to back. Kimmy said, I was sitting in the kitchen. We weren't talking about you the majority of my party. That's when I don't like when people start playing semantics like Ralph did that on Real Housewives of he did it to Todd it play semantics. People start playing semantics and say, get so that you can get caught up on one word on one detail instead of the actual fact of the matter. Right. So we weren't talking about you the majority of your party. I don't care if you were talking about me for five seconds. I wasn't there. And you were talking about my husband. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. It wasn't the majority. And then what did Melody say? I don't even think about you and your family. What? You, like trying to diminish the situation. To make it like you're you're overreacting. I don't even talk about y'all like that. Girl, it's a mess. It's a mess. It's so funny. Um, We were just talking about the picture your husband posted. Well, we didn't have no bash Tisha moment. Well, Stormy says, well, we only mentioned you because your cousin brought you up. Well, y'all have never been friends. Well, we never hang out. We are friends. Well, now all of a sudden she's at your house. So you can't have an issue. So that's crazy because it's really, you're trying to set a double standard. You are cool with, you don't want Melody being cool with Tisha, but it's okay for you to be your enemy's friends with your enemy's cousin that's okay and then I also noticed how when Tisha kept like jumping in because you were mentioning my name so I'm gonna say something she was like I wasn't even talking to you bitch bitch first of all I'm not your bitch I was like come on Tisha Tisha was not having it she's I think I think they're sick of male shit I think they are. I think it's safe to say. Because even Destiny was sitting there looking at her like, girl, you're doing the most. You're doing the most. This is some, this, see, this is the childish stuff that I'm talking about. This is the childish stuff that I'm talking about. What? Because you can't say what was actually said because all of a sudden you don't care. Girl, Mel, it was so funny to me. I wasn't there to defend myself. Why wasn't Destiny invited? Because Tisha is an op. When did I become an op? How did I become an op? Um, this is between Destiny and me. But you're mentioning me. You're saying that I'm your opposition. I'm your opponent. You are saying that about me and I can't chime in. But when Stormy chimes in to address Destiny, right? It's okay. Uh, Stormy, don't be no guard dog. Because that's what Destiny was last year for male. So don't do it. Have your own identity, sis. Don't get up there doing that. Because she had a guard dog last year. And the guard dog sitting across the table about to bark at you. She she got a new guard dog. Now y'all barking at each other. And she's sitting there like, oh, oh, sit down. Girl, her blood cousin. No, that's childish. That's not accurate. <laughs> I'm just trying to come to an understanding. Stormy can chime in, but Tisha can't. That's what I wrote. Well, the friendship that we had, Destiny was not mad. Destiny said, had. She scooted her chair back. Kimmy said, no, that's not what we're not going to. We're not going to do that. She was like, then uh, Destiny tried to clean it up. No, Destiny, you was about to get up and leave. 
She was like, I mean, she said what she had to say. She said what she had to say. Well, let her finish. Well, go ahead. Go ahead, Mel. Go ahead. She was like, I'm not going to finish. Why do you keep interrupting Stormy? Why isn't anyone telling Stormy to keep it between Mel and Destiny like they was trying to get Tisha to do? Let her talk. Oh, you want to be like me? I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> you want to be like me, don't you? No, you just, you're the new guard dog. Don't, like I said, Stormy, don't be no damn fool and be jumping up. You jumping up for mail? <laughs> well, you felt the girl was disrespecting you. Is that what you felt? No, you was jumping up for mail. Don't do, look at where, look at where destiny is sitting. All right. You understand. We're going to see it says to be continued. We'll see what happens next week. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Peace. Let me know what you think of the episode.